Just ahead on City Scene, your child could be the next star on the Lakewood Cultural Center stage. Don't throw your Christmas tree in the trash, recycle it. Lakewood is named one of the best places to live. City Scene starts now. Hello, I'm Jonathan Kirsch with the latest Lakewood news and events. The December 8th City Council meeting began with the mayor proclaiming December 10th as Sakatuam Work Day, asking residents to go without socks to show support for the homeless as part of the Sakatuam Sock Campaign. The campaign calls on residents to donate socks for the homeless because it's the clothing item they need the most, but is rarely donated to organizations helping the homeless. Socks can be donated through December 31st at the Lakewood City Clerk's Office. For other locations taking donations, visit SocketToEmSockCampaign.org. In other council news, Lakewood was presented with the Bicycle Friendly Community Award from the League of American Bicyclists for the second time, recognizing Lakewood's investment in a more sustainable and healthier future for its residents. For information on the city's bicycle amenities, visit lakewood.org forward slash news. City Council also approved a new employment agreement for the city manager and established the 2015 rates for the water and sewer utilities provided by the city. To watch the December 8th City Council meeting online, visit lakewood.org forward slash council videos. The city of Lakewood is deeply saddened by the loss of Jim Ritchie, the man known as the father of Lakewood, for his leadership skills and mentoring of city officials long after he left office as the city's first mayor. He was 88. Ritchie led the successful incorporation of Lakewood in 1969. He served as mayor from 1969 to 1977. He made excellence in law enforcement his first priority, establishing the requirement that all Lakewood police agents earn a four-year college degree. Lakewood has a park named after him, as well as a gallery in City Hall. Three, two, one. Lakewood residents joined Mayor Bob Murphy to ring in the holiday season during the mayor's tree lighting ceremony at the Heritage Center. The lights are free for the public to view and will be on through January 2nd. Kids also had a chance to go on a hayride and get their picture taken with Santa himself. Lakewood has an opportunity for residents to recycle their old, broken and unused string of holiday lights. Collection totes will be available 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. until January 11th at Lakewood's Quail Street Recycling Center. Residents can bring both LED and incandescent strings and bulbs. More information is available at 303-987-7190 and at lakewood.org forward slash recycling. Residents can now review and comment on draft chapters of the update to the city's comprehensive plan. The draft is based on more than a year's worth of work that included community-wide open houses and a citizens advisory committee discussing what is needed to update the plan. The comprehensive plan is a guiding document that sets the vision and the steps to achieve that vision for the city for the next 10 years. The draft chapters are available for review and comment at liquid.org forward slash moving forward. The community-wide discussion about making faster fixes to flooding problems in the city continues and now there's a great resource to get answers to the most frequently asked questions that have been raised. Visit liquid.org forward slash stormwater utility to learn more and to review how residents, businesses and public facilities were affected by the heavy rainstorms in 2013. You can also watch Mayor Bob Murphy discuss the issue on the November episode of Spotlight on Lakewood at liquid.org forward slash liquid 8. Lakewood is rising in the ranks of how livable our city is, according to a new national study. Livability.com recently ranked Lakewood 34th in its yearly Top 100 Best Places to Live survey, up from 88th last year. The website is dedicated to exploring what makes small to medium-sized cities great places to live. This year, Livability.com noted that Lakewood's All-America City status offers residents outdoor attractions such as Bear Creek Lake Park, a good education system that includes local colleges and a great view of the Rocky Mountains. Last year's ranking praised the city for its residents' dedication to the community service and participation in events and projects through Lakewood's volunteer programs. You can learn more at Livability.com. If you're looking for that last-minute stocking stuffer, the Lakewood Recreation Centers have you covered. You can get a good deal on a five-visit punch card now through December 24th. They're $15 for adults and $10 for youth, and they're good at any of the city's four rec centers. Visit lakewood.org forward slash recreation to find the recreation center closest to you. The City of Lakewood is conducting a free tax workshop from 1.30 to 4 p.m. on January 7th at the Lakewood Civic Center to provide answers to sales and use tax questions. During the workshop, participants will receive tools and tips for collecting sales tax. 
real-world invoices will be reviewed to produce a sales report, use tax spreadsheet, and complete a sales and use tax return. Be sure to sign up at lakewood.org forward slash tax seminar or call 303-987-7630. Celebrate the first day of winter with the City of Lakewood at Bear Creek Lake Park from 6 to 8 p.m. on December 21st. There will be a short night hike followed by a marshmallow roast around the campfire as well as the traditional burning of the Yule log. Be sure to bring your own mug to enjoy a hot beverage. Register online at lakewood.org forward slash BCLP before December 16th. The West Colfax Mural Fest is looking for artists to paint murals to create a vibrant art experience in the 40 West Arts District. The deadline to apply is January 19th. The festival is designed to celebrate creativity and the character of historic West Colfax during a one-day event with art, music, food, and creative activities next August. For more information, visit 40westarts.org. The Lakewood Cultural Center will host auditions for Missoula Children's Theater's production of The Wizard of Oz from 4 to 6 p.m. on January 19th for children in grades K through 12. This group audition requires no advanced registration, preparation, or previous stage experience. Participants must sign in by 3.45 p.m. and will be required to stay for the full two-hour group audition. Auditions, rehearsals, and performances will take place at the Lakewood Cultural Center. Rehearsals will begin immediately following the audition and will continue for the week Tuesday through Friday after school from 4 to 8.30 p.m. and Saturday morning. In addition to a wide variety of roles, assistant directors will also be cast to aid in rehearsals throughout the week and to take on essential backstage responsibilities. Two one-hour fully staged performances of The Wizard of Oz will take place at 1 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. on January 24th. Cost for participation in the residency is $50 per participant accepted into the program. Tickets for the two public performances start at $5 and are available at 303-987-7845 lakewood.org forward slash tickets or the Lakewood Cultural Center box office. Every parent knows the joy that toys can bring to children. Stop by the Joy for Toys exhibit at Lakewood Cultural Center to take a look back at the toys that entertained children in decades past. This exhibit is free and open to the public and runs through December 24th. One quick reminder, for those of you who attend Warren meetings, wards 1, 2, 3, and 5 have canceled their meetings for December. That's it for this edition of City Scene. Stay up to date on the latest Lakewood news and events at lakewood.org forward slash stay informed. I'm Jonathan Kirsch. Thanks for watching.